In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new Webflow extension that is going to be an absolute game changer for anyone building websites in Webflow. So without further ado, let's get into it. <music> what's going on welcome back to the channel so in today's video i am going to be reviewing a brand new webflow extension created by flowbase that will allow you to seamlessly copy and paste different components into your webflow projects without you having to leave the designer now you might recall that last year i made a video reviewing the flowbase component library that basically allows you to copy and paste pre-built components from inside of flowbase into your webflow template now that component library in itself was pretty awesome but now with this webflow extension you'll be able to copy and paste those exact components without ever having to leave the webflow designer so tom from flowbase hit me up the other week asking me if i wanted to check out that webflow extension and after having a play around with it i've discovered that there is way more to it than just being able to copy and paste different components so in today's video i'm going to be showing you some of the key things that you can do with the flowbase extension to hopefully show you how you can really take your webflow projects to the next level now before we get into it do me a quick little favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button and also of course if you want to check out the flowbase extension library then i will also leave a link in the description down below so that you can simply install the chrome extension yourself with that being said let's dive into the first feature okay so now that i've installed the flowbase extension you'll see the flowbase icon on the left side here and if we click into it you'll see a whole bunch of different features that we'll have access to and i'm going to be going over every single one of them but we're going to start off with the components tab because that is what flowbase is most known for so the way that you would use the component library before the flowbase extension would come along is you'd simply head over to their website you'll browse through their directory of different components and then as soon as you found the component that you wanted to work with you'd simply click into it and then from there all you needed to do is to just simply copy the component head back into webflow and then to simply paste it into the canvas and now with the flowbase extension you don't even need to do that all you need to do now is just simply click on the flowbase extension click on the components tab and inside of the components tab you'll find all of the different components that are also available on the website and then all you need to do is navigate your way to the type of component that you're looking for simply copy it to your clipboard and then just paste it into the navigator like that and just like that you've been able to add a navbar without even leaving webflow so i personally love using the component library because it's a huge time saver. and one of the things that's impressed me the most about it is that ever since i've made my last review video they've launched over 400 new components which means that they're constantly keeping it up to date with new components that you can use inside of your webflow projects so another thing worth pointing out is if you are just at the beginning of your webflow journey and you're not exactly sure whether or not you're going to use something like Flowbase, then you should also check out the free components that will really allow you to get the hang of how Webflow works. It will allow you to assemble entire websites a lot faster. And what I have found is that this is one of the most effective ways to learn Webflow. Now, on the other hand, if you are a Webflow designer and you don't want to have to go through the process of redesigning all of your different components that you copy and paste in through Flowbase, you can now use the Flow UI system, which is basically less stylized components that you can simply copy and paste into your project so that you can assemble the structure of your site a lot faster. Now, if we go and have a look at the Flow UI system, you'll see that a lot of the components, if not all of the components, are wireframes or low fidelity designs, which is perfect for anyone who is a designer and simply wants a faster way to structure their site. So again, all you really need to do is just select the components that you want to use, build your page, and then you can start styling it in whatever way you want. Now again here, Flowbase has a huge selection of both premium and free components. So all you really need to do is find what you need on your page, copy and paste it over. And again, this is the perfect place to get started if you're just getting familiar with Webflow or if you primarily just wanna focus on the UI side of things. Now, one last thing that I want to say about the Flow UI system is that this will also come with a Figma file. So if you want to pre-build all of your different components inside of Figma first, then you'll be able to use the Figma file that Flowbase will provide. So again, a huge, huge time saver for anyone wanting to build sites in Webflow. Okay, and so next up we have icon sets. And let me tell you, this here is going to save me so much time because in the past, when it comes to icons, I don't know what I'm doing. This here, on the other hand, is going to be a huge time saver and so what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to jump in here browse through over 2,000 different icons and then simply copy and paste them into your webflow project 
Now, the way that you can simply find icons is by jumping in here, let's search for an Instagram icon, then you simply click on it, copy it, then you can just simply paste it into somewhere that makes sense. Let's put it in here for now. And now one of the things that is really good about this is because it's actually using the uh, SVG path, you're actually able to style it. So let's say, for example, we want to increase the size of our icon. You can do that all natively. Another thing that you can do is you can change the color of it. So in the past, when I worked with icons, I would copy it in as an image or as an e SVG that you couldn't change but because it's using these SVG paths, you can actually stylize it as if it was text. And so again, you can create custom hover states and just like that, you'll be able to really take your icon game to the next level. And so again, super convenient that you can do this directly inside of Webflow now. And again, they have over 2000 different icons. You have line icons, you have fill icons, you can customize it all and you can use them both for personal and commercial use. So all around an absolute great addition to the Flowbase extension. Next, we're gonna jump into the next feature, which is guides. So the guide section is a collection of snippets that you can use to build certain features inside of Webflow that you currently can't build natively. Now, one of the things that I have come across a lot is when my page scrolls in the background after a pop-up opens, you can actually solve that particular problem using custom code. And what the guides library will do is actually give you access to those code snippets. So let's say, for example, you want to build a before and after image slide inside of Webflow, all you need to do is simply jump into the guide and then click on the different head tags and that will then provide you with the code snippet that you're going to have to use in your head tag or in this case also in your body tag. So the way it works is you just copy and paste the code snippets and then there are instructions on how you can actually set it up, how you have to name your classes, how you have to set up your different components. And so this is a really great way for you to simply build out certain features that Webflow can't solve natively. And so this feature again is just going to be a huge time saver. All of these code snippets are typically spread all over the internet and forums and all those types of things. So to have it all in one place will just save you time when it comes to the actual setup of these types of features. And so if you are someone that typically wants to push the boundaries of Webflow, then this feature will really help you do that. And then last but certainly not least, there is the tool belt feature. And the tool belt feature is essentially some advanced tools that you can use inside of Webflow that will speed up your workflows and allow you to do a few more things. At the moment, there are two key functionalities. So the first one is the color swatch organizer. And so if you are saving your colors as swatches, you can now see them inside of here. And then if you wanna start reorganizing them in a way that makes a bit more sense color-wise, you can simply do that here, click save changes, and those changes will then automatically apply to your swatch setup. So if we jump in here and I click on my color tab and I then go and have a look at my swatch, you can see that it was reordered in the exact way that I set inside of the Flowbase extension. And then we also have the color swatch importer. So if you are designing all of your websites inside of Figma and then you wanna quickly import all of the colors and swatches that you're using inside of that Figma file into Webflow, then you'll be able to do it with this particular feature here. So the way that it works is once you're done designing your files inside of Figma, all you need to do is just use the plugin for the color importer. And so you can see it here and you can then just simply export your color swatches that are in inside of Figma. So you just click on export swatches, save it as swatches.json and then all you need to do is jump back into your Webflow project, you click on browse, you go to your folder and import that JSON file. And as soon as you do that, apply the changes, what will happen is Webflow will then reload with the swatch that you had just imported from inside of Figma. So let's go and check that out. And just like that, you'll see that all of your colors are now available to be used, which again is a huge, huge time saver if you are designing inside of Figma. 
And so those are the first two tools that will be available inside of the Flowbase Toolkit, but they are already working on a whole bunch of additional tools that will really allow you to do more advanced things inside of Webflow. And so that is my first look at the Flowbase extension. I must honestly say I was super happy with just the component library, but this really takes it to another level. And I think anyone who is either just getting into Webflow will really benefit from being able to use some of the components that are already in there. And even people who are already a bit more advanced, the tools that they have in the Flow UI system and in the toolkit will really allow you to speed up some of your workflows. So all around a lot to be excited about. Now I'll leave a link to the Chrome extension in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by smashing that like button and leaving a comment in the video. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around for the entire video and I'll see you back here for the next one.